Yo, what's up, man? Uh, shout out to everybody who's been catching the live. We've been pretty much, I've been giving out some pretty much, some pretty nice picks, man, on the live stream. But, uh, so if, you, if you've been missing out on those live streams, hey, just make sure you hit the notifications bell uh, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I upload. Um, not going live today. Um, a lot of spots that I like, let's get right into it, okay? So no matter if you're watching this on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, it is what it is, all right? So uh, some plays that I like, you know, some plays that I've already sprinkled on, and yada, 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 all right? So let me get Twitter up here because i just seen the locks. Whenever... Excuse me. Whenever I see locks or whatever the case may be, uh, you know what to do. Locks, what I mean by that? <laughs> like right here, this Houston Rockets game, we got some news. We got to have some news right here. So we got quick news early. Let's see what that do. Let's see what that do. Um, Deshaun Tate, he's ruled out. Um, Mark Williams, Nick Richards, uh, yada, yada, yada for rest. That's why it's most important. It's really, really important to uh, follow these guys because you get news for, you know, tomorrow and everything, you know. Uh, Will Barton doesn't practice. Gary Trent Jr. limited in practice. Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill is out. Same old news, man. So let me refresh this one more time. Let me see something. I guess. We'll see. My son probably getting ready to come out. They probably caught it before me. I revisit that. All right, so look. First game on the docket here, we got the Milwaukee Bucks and the Detroit Pistons here. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, I'll talk about the books. I'll talk about same game parlays. I'll talk about uh, prize picks. I talk about fantasy. I talk about everything, man. It's just right now I don't. I'm limited for time right now. So we got the uh, oh, 17 and a half, big 17 and a half point spread here. Uh, 233 over under in this spot here. Um, you know, I tend to go to a couple parlay pieces and things like that. So here's the thing. Probably going to run this in a parlay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to set it to the side. Uh, it's going to take the Milwaukee Bucks uh, winning at, at at the end of every quarter. Minus 22, just a parlay, uh, 225, just a parlay piece. I'll show you what I, parla what I parlayed that up with uh, earlier. I'll show you because a lot of nut lines wasn't out. And this here is just when it's, it's just equivalent to a wire to wire uh, winning at the end of every quarter. All right. So, um. That just simply means that, you know, it used to be wire to wire, just, you know, at the end of each quarter, Milwaukee Bucks have to be winning. You can really, really easily lose this bet. I don't advise it. You know, just sprinkle a little something on the play on a on a uh on a parlay for this one here. Um, you know, uh I like this this prop here for um um uh, Drew Holiday. Um it was sitting at uh, uh seven and a half. That's where I got it at. And I don't, I'm, it's not an official play, okay? I'm just letting you guys know I sprinkled something on it. There's blowout concern here. That's instances where he probably can't get there. Chris Middleton couldn't talk of his assist prop either. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's blowout concern, you know, where, 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 as to where he won't, you know, sometimes he won't get there, all right? So you can get over here to prize picks and you can take it for, uh, you get it for a push here, all right? So that's something that I, you know, I, I, I you know, I'm getting ready to put over there as well. Speaking of prize picks, um, I just, man, me and five picks and six picks are not getting along. It's like three, four days straight. Um, my six picks, I do it two of them a day, and then I mix and match those. Uh, like, man, I've been just going five for six and five for six and five for six, man, you know? So it's been really, really rough in that area. Last night, this was a... uh. This one here was five for six here. Uh, Curry, man, he finished with 40 and 0.7. Fancy score. I needed five more fancy score to finish off the deal. But, uh, I, you know, you know, I do like to uh, do fancy score. Um, actually, these are all fancy scores. Drew Eubanks over, Giddy over, White over, Collins over, Avisa over. A lot of stuff that we went over on a, a live podcast, you know. So uh, make sure you uh, tap in with that. Um, either way it goes, yeah. So those are two plays that I'm looking at this. Uh, you can get a six and a half right now. That's a, par a parlay piece right there. So, you know, it is what it is, man. It's a lot to look at in that game, but I'm just I'm just keeping it moving right now. Dallas Mavericks at Indiana Pacers. We got a 233 over under in this spot here. Don't know if any uh, numbers came out uh, yet for uh, other other players. 
Uh, look on DraftKings, see if we got anything else different on DraftKings. No, we don't. We just got Kyrie Irving and uh, uh, Reggie Bullock. Not going to look all over the place, but I'll tell you this. Uh, both both, both assist props for uh, whoever uh, comes out at point guard, they're, uh, they're in play. Uh, this um, Dallas Mavericks team, they don't play that much defense, uh, so I'm looking at that, right? Then you got uh, Coop, uh, uh, um, uh, Luca. he's not playing today, so that's one thing. Um, Kyrie Irving, I couldn't talk you off his assists, his points, his threes, PRAs, or fantasy score, okay? I'm looking at four, six and a half fantasy score. That's what I'm looking at. Um, but, yeah, I couldn't talk you off of that. Then um, Reggie Bullock, he didn't have the grace of three-point shooting days yesterday, uh, but uh, we do like to target this uh, – we do like to target this uh, Indiana Tacers team from beyond the arc. They're giving up the fifth most threes to the shooting guard position. Don't know about the small four, whatever case may be, but uh, they are giving up the uh, second most threes on the season to the, I mean, the fourth, the fifth most threes on the season to the uh, power four, I mean, point shooting guard position. So you can look at the threes for him. Uh, you know, guys like Kyrie, they are self-explanatory. Uh, you'll get uh, Bullock's three sitting at two and a half or plus money. All right. There'll be no... Um, There'll be no, uh, there'll be no, uh, Buddy Hill. So, um, here's a guy that's on my radar, always on my radar. It's going to be, uh, Jordan War. So, uh, keep an eye out on him. Uh, he just went, um, 34 minutes, 12 for 17 for 33 points. And then he had four for seven for three. Uh, he can't shoot the ball. He's a scorer. Okay. And then you got guys like Ben Matherin, you know, he's going to step up. Uh, and, you know, he's going to probably come out and probably have himself a decent game. Okay, so those are some guys that you could look at. But Nimhart, I'm waiting on his threes, if, I mean, his assists, if, uh, if, if Halliburton doesn't play, okay? Yes, Houston Rockets at New York Knicks here now. Uh, uh, this, this game just opened back up. I want to take a look at just to see if anything came out again. One more time. Nothing new. Interesting. All right. So, um, what I'm waiting on here, I'm waiting on if J Jenny Brunson is in or out. If Jenny Brunson plays, then I'm interested in, you know, uh, in him. Uh, if he doesn't play, then I'm interested in, um, in, uh, quickly. Okay. What do we know about this? You know, this, this Houston Rockets team, they give up the points to the point guard position. They give up the most assists to the point guard position on the season. They give up the most threes to the point guard position on the season. Okay. They give up the most fancy points to the point guard position on the season. Okay. So that's what I'm looking at. Two guards, uh, three pointers. Okay. They give up the most threes to the point guard, to the two guard position, uh, on the season. Okay. Uh, they even give it up to the small forward. Okay, they give up the the second mo the third the second most three to the small forward position, and so on and so forth. Okay, um, so you know that, that that's what I'm looking at, man. So really waiting on the injury news for the point guard position here. It is what it is. All right, uh, Phoenix Suns. All right, versus Utah Jazz. Two thirty four over under in this spot, and uh. Utah Jazz, man, they begin some smoked, okay? Smoked by who? They've been smoked by guards, all right? So, um, on the season, they're giving up the third most points to the point guard position, and they're giving up, the on the season, the, the sixth most points to the shooting guard position, okay? That's Chris Paul, and the shooting guard, you know who that is, that's Devin Booker. They even move up in the last seven games to the shooting guard position, they're giving up the second most points, okay? So, uh, you know... Uh, points for Devin Booker is in play. I haven't pulled the trigger yet. To tell you the truth, I haven't pulled the trigger. All right, so that's one. Th those are two things that I'm looking at right there. Um, so you know, um, then you got somebody like Chris Paul. Uh, he is pretty much self-explanatory. So it's not official play, but uh, I'm betting it. Uh, I'm taking the over nine and a half assists for Chris Paul. So uh, it's not an official play, but I'm taking a nine and a half assist with Chris Paul, and I'm taking it on uh, prize picks over here. Okay, so uh, 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 um, nine and a half assist with Chris Paul there. Um, that's that's that. All right. So I couldn't talk you off uh, anything for somebody like uh, Devin Booker, his assist prop, because for the simple fact that if you uh, uh, um, for the simple fact that um, they are giving up the assists as well to the shooting guard position. I mean, uh, last. What so over the season? It is what it is. We know what Booker does. You know he's he, he's just he's just that good. You know what I'm saying? He's just that good. So uh, keep in mind, we do get back uh, Aiden today, and uh, uh, somebody like Walker Kessler. He's going to be a play for me. He's always uh, 
you know, uh, for fantasy score, whatever case may be, something like that. I couldn't talk off of that. Uh, he's a big time block candidate. He has an assignment today in, um, and uh and uh, uh and DeAndre Aiden. So, you know, I couldn't talk about his blocks is probably coming out at two and a half. Couldn't talk about that his fantasy score either. So I'll be inter- it'll be interesting to see what this what those numbers are gonna look like. And uh if we get no marketing, then you could look at uh some combos or something like that for uh Kelly Olenek. I mean, I I couldn't talk off his points and rebounds would we'll be at twenty one and a half. I couldn't talk off his rebounds and assists or whatever the case may be. Um sitting at eleven and a half, he's been hitting this or hovering around it, you know, uh, pretty much. Pretty uh, a lot lately, okay? But I'll keep it moving right now. I'll keep it moving. Philadelphia Sixers and 76. Uh, Philadelphia Sixers at Denver Nuggets here, a uh, 228 and a half over under. And uh, man, you know, uh, last time these two teams played, uh, Joel Embiid had himself a game. Uh, of course, uh, if he plays today, he's questionable. Uh, James Harden is questionable. He hasn't played in a while. It's just a lot when it comes to the injury news. But I definitely have interest in. Uh, I have interest in. I don't know what I'm going to get there get there or not he's he is mark, mark questionable i just don't see him missing this game mb but you know with the mvp race going on but if he does end, end up missing this game then you know so that's so be it two guys do i do that i do think uh uh numbers are in play jamal murray and um uh maxi neither one of these guys have defense neither one of these guys i imagine they'll be sticking each other they'll be out there cooking each other i probably so look for the uh Look for uh, I'll be looking for uh, James Harden to see if he plays. If not, then hey, James, um, I, uh, Jamal Murray and um, Tyrese Maxey should, you know, have fun. Not, not fun. Not having, not, not playing great defense. <laughs> so I couldn't talk off the over uh, two and a half threes for uh, Jamal Murray. Um, I like that. I really like that. I'm probably I'm gonna end up playing that in some shape, form, or fashion. And keep an eye out for the injury news for Michael Porter Jr. He's questionable for today's game due to a left heel injury. All right. So let's keep it moving. Um, New Orleans Pelicans at uh, uh Portland Trail Blazers here and uh two twenty six and a half over under in this spot. And you know it's 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 a lot here, man. I mean, injury news. Trent Wofford went down, messed up some of my lines last night, but injuries gonna happen, okay? Um, Jonas Valanciunas, you can get the Jonas Valanciunas for a double double here. Um, that's what I had put together with uh, that wire to wire for, as a parlay piece there, which uh, the Von, Jonas uh, Jonas Valanciunas double double and uh, uh, Milwaukee Bucks uh, to win. Uh, 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 to win, winning at the every at the every quarter, you get that at plus one, uh, one twenty right there. We all know that uh, on the season, um, we all know that on the season, um, points. Uh, Portland Trailblazers giving up the most points uh, on the season, and per forty eight, they're giving up like fourteen something rebounds. And you can you can couple that with the fact that you know uh, uh, Jonas Valanciunas has been Hulk smashing uh stuff lately you know uh plus you know he's got uh 12 rebounds or better in one two three four five six of his last seven games so he's been really 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 uh hammering that so i couldn't talk you off his points his points and rebounds or whatever the case may be uh for uh uh, uh um 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 jonas valentunas i like all of it okay um so portland yeah just you know it's just and then like you know, New Orleans, they they trying to they trying to go to the playoffs, man. So you know, everything is a is in goal for me for this New Orleans team. It's New Orleans Pelicans are nothing for me in this spot. I'll be monitoring the situation with the uh with the spread here. Um, might end up sprinkling something on the um winning at the end of every quarter. You can get you get it for minus one twenty. I I might sprinkle something on it. I don't know. Uh, but you know, CJ going up against his old team. No, no um no um no uh. No litter, you know, uh, two and a half threes not out of rim of possibilities there either. So uh, why 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 is this just get suspended here? Let's check run a quick check on the injury news one time. And there we have it. Uh, they just suspended that because. Drew Holiday, he's out now. So that just, you know, so what would with that with Drew Holiday being out, I that just makes me like the assist prop for uh for Middleton. So let's see. Mm. 
Middleton five and a half assists. Let me let me put that in real quick. If he don't get it, he don't get it. Or his rebounds and assists too. Middleton's rebounds and assists too. But let me let me play this. Let me play this real fast. While I get this five and a half, let me play this two pick. Sorry, guys. It's just the life of what we do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> more for Chris Paul, more for, uh, yeah. Damn, got that in. All right. Uh, rebounds and assists for uh, Chris Middleton looking like. He's not up. It's not up over there. All right, so where was I? Yeah, so, you know, that, that, let me keep it moving, all right? Minnesota Timberwolves at uh, 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 Sacramento Kings. We don't have numbers for their pace, pace up matchup for this uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, uh, here we don't have numbers and anything for this here. Just need to see who's out. Oh, we got players and stuff now. I need to see who's in and out, man. I need to see who's in and out. I know. Uh, I need to run. I need to do a little bit more uh, on this one here. So check the community section here on YouTube. I'll put some more plays up there. Uh, whatever the case may be. These last two games, I did not really dive into it. All right. I will have some interest in Zubox rebounds. I'll tell you that. I'll have some interest in Zubox rebounds. Yeah. Nine and a half. Mm. I have some interest. Keep in mind, Chicago Bulls, uh, for the three-point shooters, uh, Chicago Bulls are giving up a decent amount of, uh, of threes here. Uh, so on the season, um, on the season, well, last, 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 last 15, I mean, it's last seven games, Chicago Bulls giving up the fourth most threes to the point guard position. Uh, on the season, the Bulls are giving up uh, – the fourth most threes to the shooting guard position, and they are giving up the uh, they are giving up the uh, about the seventh or eighth most threes to the small forward position. Okay, just a little, just a little bit of tidbit of information right there. But um, I did not, I did not. I like the spot for I like the spot for uh, Zach Levine for sure. Um, I'd imagine DeRozan might get the get the Kawhi treatment or whatever the case may be. So I like this spot for Zach Levine, but I didn't really dive into the numbers. Um, a lot of injury news, whatever the case may be today. Just, uh, you know, keep an eye on everything and uh, good luck today, okay? Uh, peace out, guys. Peace.